Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about the danger of perfect standards. Uh, I kind of talked, touched upon this recently in um, one of my recent videos, The Curse of Productivity, but I want to expand on you know, some of the things that I've experienced due to my perfect standards for myself and how they've not only affected me, but the people around me. So I just want to address first the pros of perfect standards, because there are pros, um, in my opinion, to being a perfectionist or chasing perfection or holding yourself to perfect or near perfect standards, right? So uh, I think chasing perfection, trying to be perfect, or maybe just trying to be the best, absolute best that you can be, it might be a better way to put it. Um, is pro is bound to produce good results. Um, you know, it will it'll keep you motivated to perform well and to be productive, uh, produce quality work, you know, whether it's content or if you're studying, um, you know, produce good grades, let's say, right? Um, things like that. So you know, there, and obviously it's just, it's just good to hold yourself to high standards to try to strive for more and to you know, really be on top of yourself and try to be the best you can be. You know, I believe that that is a good thing. However, there can be some quite negative effects um, and harmful effects that you might face or um, that you might even incite on others or on yourself due to your perfect standards so it's you have to be very careful not to judge others by the standards that you have set for yourself um, because that can tend that tends to cause a lot of issues when you try to hold others to the standards that you've set for yourself try to make sure that others are being perfect so i've encountered this issue a lot of times when i've tried to help people around me um, in, you know, in my journey of self-improvement, um, I find that is, I find it valuable or I find it important to try to help those around me, try to get others on like my same wave of like, you know, trying to be really productive or, you know, try to practice really good habits, trying to be healthy and everything like that. You know, I find it like almost like my duty to try to make a sure that people around me, the people that I love, the people that I care about are doing the same. And, you know, it seems like I'm one of the only people that really cares about it as much as um, I do, you know. And, you know, I find that very, I've found that to be very frustrating and very challenging um, because it's hard to kind of change somebody's mind and to motivate somebody to be the way that you are, especially when you're doing things that are pretty extreme or out of the norm. Um, and, you know, it's it's very difficult to navigate that and to succeed in trying to better those around you. Um, so <clears throat> I've ended up stressing people out, making people upset with me, arguing with people um, due to my efforts to try to help them as I like to think of it right but you have to understand that not everybody you know even though you might be right that like people shouldn't be like doing certain things and that they should be doing certain things that they should be more aware of the way they're spending their time and should be practicing certain habits and you know even though objectively you know you might be right you probably are right and and it's probably a good thing that you're trying to help people do those things um you do have to always keep in mind that people aren't, due to their current situations, priorities, goals, values, emotions, etc. They're just not going to always be conducive um, to those changes that you might be trying to suggest. And that can be very frustrating and I've found it very difficult not to get upset or not even not necessarily get upset, but just be open to the idea that somebody might not find value in advice that I give to try to get them to see 
the benefits of self-improvement, right? No matter how hard you might try, just somebody might not really care, right? And, you know, you're going to hit a wall probably at some point with people like that. And so, yeah, it's never a good thing to judge people based on those standards that you've set for yourself. Like, I tend to be very hard on myself and judge myself based on how well I perform day to day, um, how productive I am, how strict I am with myself, um, how much, how many of the good habits I can do in one day, right? And like I said, there is some benefits to that because it will motivate you, it will produce good results and everything, but you really have to be careful with how you try to impose those values and those beliefs on other people because not everybody sees the way that you do. Not everybody, you know, sees through those through these two eyes that you do, and has the same goals and values that you do. Um, even though, again, you might be right, people are just not going to see that that way. You know, so you have to be I'm not necessarily saying that you shouldn't help people and try to get people that you love about or that you love or care about do better. But you just have to be very careful in the way that you do it and approach it in a way I found it's probably usually best to just like ask questions and kind of instead of telling people that you should do this, you should do that, maybe like ask questions or just talk about the benefits that you've experienced or, you know, try to understand how that advice could benefit them based on their situation and their beliefs instead of just saying, no, you could do this, I think this, I know this, um, therefore you should do this, you know what I mean? Usually it doesn't, it's not, doesn't tend to like produce a productive civil discussion, I've found. And at the same time, perfect standards it will also not really benefit you when everything goes to shit um, so this is not necessarily to say that you shouldn't try to do your best but when things you know like I was doing really good for several months and then just kind of recently I just kind of fell off and just kind of was being lazy unmotivated mental health was suffering and so those perfect standards that I held for myself didn't do anything for me at the end of the day because I just wasn't able to get myself to do the things no matter, I just didn't even want to anymore, you know what I mean? And so it was just causing more damage in my life than I was already experiencing because I was, you know, holding myself to these like perfect standards and then all of a sudden when things go south, things become, things, unexpected situations arise, and all of a sudden you're not doing so good, you know, those perfect standards will only harm you because now you just, like, you don't even, you have no motivation anymore, um, you have no drive to be perfect, you don't care, and, you know, I kind of talked about it in my last video, that, that kind of curse of productivity, it just makes you, like, feel even worse when you can't do the things um, that you believe that you should be doing so you don't do them and then that makes you feel worse wait <laughs> I'm kind of so it makes you feel worse when you don't even want to do the things so then you don't do them but then not doing the things makes you feel worse and yada yada right so it's best to just instead of chasing perfection in those situations to learn to adapt and accept um, learn to adapt to and accept your current reality. Um, you know, I've, I've found, I've found that out the hard way recently. Um, just kind of being away from friends and my normal routine was what made me suffer mentally for a bit. I'm starting to feel better, but you know, it was like really hard for me for a while to uh, succeed 
and be productive because I had to adapt to this new change in environment and social circumstances that, you know, no habit or diet or exercise or anything like that was going to make me feel better because the root cause was still there. So I just wasn't able to perform and because I wasn't really addressing the root issue of like just trying to be okay with where I am right now. Um, let me see. And one of the last points that I want to make is, again, chasing perfection can be beneficial sometimes, but you also have to learn to accept imperfections, which tends to be more beneficial, I've learned. So for example, like I'm coming out with an EP soon. I was working on mixing it for a while, recording and mixing it and mastering it, right? Um, and so I was really trying to get it to be perfect, but there were just some things about it that still weren't perfect. And I was just really stressing myself out about how how to make try to make it be perfect, and it just wasn't really working out for me. And so at the end of the day, I just had to accept that it just wasn't going to be perfect, you know? I think especially like if you're an artist of any kind, you face this issue of being a perfectionist and, you know, because you're going to put your art out there for people to see. So you need it to be like super perfect, right? You need it to be like the best that it can possibly be, like no flaws whatsoever. It needs to be amazing. But, you know, you're just going to go run, you're going to be running around in circles for, for a long time if you hold on to that idea of, <laughs> like I know this guy um, back in the, in the city where I go to uh, university and he's up multiple days and nights like he's an art student so he's up multiple days and nights like you know painting or sewing or you know doing whatever like arts and crafts and things that he's doing because he just needs it to be perfect right and it's like at, at, one, at a certain point it starts to cause diminishing returns because this guy's literally losing sleep and you know spending so much time like missing deadlines because he needs the work to the art to be perfect where it's and it's like dude you just need some rest sometimes you know what i mean like <laughs> you need to accept sometimes that it's just not going to be perfect and that you know there is value in imperfections like i um there's this quote from tom york that I think it's when the Radiohead was recording um, the Benz and he, I think it was the Benz and he said something like, oh, about Street Spirit, I think, the last song. I think he said that they, they got it. I, I might be totally butchering this, honestly, but something about how like they got one song and like one take or like they did the album, like you know, they recorded it and like, some way where like there's just a lot of like errors not a lot or there's just like some mistakes and like imperfections in the recording and but he said that he wanted to release it that way like warts and all he said and you know i heard that quote and i thought that was pretty badass like that you know in a way it makes it the art more valuable that there is imperfections because you know, it's just kind of out there for everybody to see and doesn't need the need to be perfect, you know. Um, it's just a whole experience of the good and the bad and, you know, there's, there's not necessarily like a perfect standard that you're trying to abide by, you're just expressing yourself. Um, and so, how does this tie back to the main point? Yeah, I just don't, you know, sometimes good to chase perfection, but uh, other times you just need to realize that you might just be wasting time and energy um, because things aren't always going to be perfect. People are, aren't always going to be perfect. You're not always going to be perfect and just accept that. And if I had just accepted that recently, I probably wouldn't have stressed myself out so much, you know, and just had just realized, okay, I'm not going to be performing very well for a couple of weeks. You know, that's just the reality right now. And just accept that instead of trying to be, instead of beating myself up about it so hard that I wasn't performing well, that I wasn't like um, being this like kind of figure that I paint myself out to be in these videos that I'm like 
super productive and all that. Like, yeah, I wasn't that way for the past few weeks. And, uh, but, you know, it's all right. I'm here again making this video. And, yeah. Um, so it's okay to not be perfect sometimes, right? <clears throat> and, yeah, especially with the people that you love and care about, you don't want to judge them because they're not perfect. Uh, it's something, it's a very hurtful thing to do. So, yeah, at the end of the day, just be aware of the, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, the up and downsides, the ups, the upsides and downsides of chasing perfection and find that line, as I always say, find the line, find the balance, right, in what you do. Because that will ultimately be more beneficial and yield better results and make people happier and make yourself happier than going to the extreme in most situations, right? And trying to be extreme, the on, on one complete end of the spectrum. So yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.